Today's Gospel Tuesday, May 14, is from St. John chapter 15, verse 9 to 17. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Olet Perez of the Pagibig sa Diyos Catholic Community. God's Perfect Love Love gives us a feeling of deep affection. It is an act of giving oneself to another without boundaries. In today's Gospel, the triad of love between God the Father and Jesus and Jesus with his apostles is an example of perfect love. Love is the center stage. The love of God the Father is sending Jesus to save us and the empowering love of Jesus to lay down his life for us. Jesus' love for his disciples taught them how to love one another. God's love is powerful and never ceases. Even when we are still sinners, His love is unchanging, full of goodness and mercy. Let me share with you a story of a patient scheduled for cancer surgery. As a doctor, it is my routine that before induction of anesthesia, I ask my patient to silently pray. She smiled and told me, Thank you. Your request is a confirmation that God is with me and will not forsake me because I can feel His love and will not give me trials which I cannot handle. After several months, we met, and she happily told me that her latest examination showed that she is cancer-free. This is just one kind of love that God gives to the faithful. Let us all accept the love that God offers us. Let us pray. Almighty Father, thank you for the love that you gave us through your Son, Jesus. Help us to share this love with our neighbors. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.